Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya D. If you're new, um, welcome. And if you aren't new, welcome back. Um, I am about to get my braces tightened. So we're on this braces journey thing that we're doing here. So, um, yeah, I am, this is my first like actual checkup since I've had my top and bottom braces on. So they I imagine they're gonna like change my wire to a thicker wire and, ooh, let me turn this ear down, to a thicker wire and I'm gonna get my color changed as well. So very excited about what they're gonna do. I'm going to record if I can. I'm gonna run it by them again and be like, hey, can I record y'all do my teeth? Um, because I think that'll be really cool. But yeah, so this is like the progression of my teeth. And honestly, if I can say that anything has changed, I can definitely tell that a lot of my teeth like have turned, like some of them started to feel loose. Um I no longer have the open bite that I had when I first got uh, my brace, like my bottom braces on. So like I had an open bite and it was terrible. Now my teeth still meet. Um, I still like I see no changes in my gap, um, <laughs> and I probably won't until I get my power chains and my rubber bands. But I can tell that like now I have a gap right here and a gap right here which is a good thing because that means my teeth have shifted um but yeah i'm going to see what they say once i get in there to see like what type of progress that they see versus progress that i've seen um so yeah i'm about to take y'all into my orthodontist appointment and then get my color changed do all those things and then i will see y'all so that we can debrief again when i'm out and then i'll turn this into a whole like update so i'll go more in depth about like the changes what's been happening and stuff like that later on so but my appointment is in like three minutes so let me go ahead and walk into these people's office <laughs> so i am not holding nobody up all right <laughs> yeah and it's like it'll be like simple stuff like people will show just like Hey, I want to get my color changed, or hey, I don't know, like simple yeah. stuff. <laughs> okay. a little tighter already. Sometimes patients feel it mm -hmm. really fast. try to be but like sometimes I get overwhelmed with it <laughs> and like I really hate the editing process even though like I went to school for like broadcast journalism and like we used to edit videos all the time but like I hated it <laughs> I'm like I do not want to edit <laughs> I know that's one thing that kind of stops me from like being so active on social media and mm -hmm. like trying to start off on it because like I'll be consistent but it, like after a couple of weeks like I'll just like it's not that all like I don't want to post, but it's just, like I get busy. You know, yeah, like, it's in the way, and then it's like here I am posting like because you, you have to post like you know all the time yeah. in order for people to like really for you yeah. give views and like an exactly. audience and stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so after like the alignment, I go to. Rubber bands or power chains? Which is first? Power 
I think I probably want to do parachutes. Oh, okay. I have red. I like the color. I like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I did get a thicker wire. That was like super quick. As y'all can see, I got a thicker wire. She changed my colors and that was it. I really love that girl. Like, I gotta figure out her name. I don't know her name, but I gotta figure it out. Every time I have her, she's just so sweet. She's so sweet. She like does everything right. She talks to me. Like, as y'all can tell in the video, like she's just talking like, she's so nice. I like that girl. I, if I could have her every time I come in, she would be my go-to. She would be my go-to. But like I told y'all, and it doesn't really, like the initial reaction, it doesn't really hurt that much. But I can tell that like they were tightened, you know. And the, I didn't record the actual orthodontist coming over there. Because honestly, I don't really do much, if I'm being honest. These these doctors be doing the bare minimum and be getting paid, okay? Because he literally just looked at my teeth and said, mm, we can go up a wire. All right, have a good one. And that's all he be doing. Anywho, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh, oh, the orthodontist. So yeah, he did come over there um, and say that we're still working on alignment with my teeth. So he said... We're still working on the alignment. Once we get that figured out and that is done, then we can move on to the next stage. So I figure like maybe in another six weeks, um, I'll be able to, I don't know, he'll actually be able to tell me like how well I'm doing. But y'all know, this was just my first appointment check-in and stuff like that. I'm just now getting my braces tightened. He was like, we're still working on alignment, but in six weeks, like, we'll, like, we'll see some more progress. And, um, yeah. So, I almost thought he wasn't going to, like, up my braces. But he was like, yeah, we're going to go up a wire. Like, I, th I thought he wasn't going to do that, but, yeah. So, I do not... I did not have the open bite like I had when I left the last time, which is really good, which means my teeth are like, they're coming together. Um, as y'all can see, I have this clear thing on too. And that's so that this top tooth doesn't like hit up against the bracket. And he even told me, he was like, I don't think she needs that anymore, but let's just put it back on there to be safe. So that's what they did. Um, when I showed y'all earlier, it was a little yellow, but that's because, like, this is clear and, like, eating food and all that stuff can, like, have have it turn a color. So, it'll probably be yellow again in, like, a week, depending on, like, the food I eat. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll, like, add more to this video and stuff and just do, like, a complete update. So that things make sense. Cause right now I'm just talking. And y'all probably are like, this is fine, but uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I need to make a list and I need to actually like tell y'all. So first check-in for my six week update on my braces. And we got red this time. I like this color. It's cute. Okay. Peace out. Hey y'all, you're probably wondering like, where is that update I had promised y'all after I left the orthodontist um, at this point six weeks ago? Yeah, I forgot to do it. And I kept saying like, my, you need to do this, you need to do this. And I never did it. So this is about to be like a two part type of video <laughs> because I'm about to go and get uh, my braces tightened and my color changed. So I still have the, um, the red. This is big pimple. It just came on today. A girl is PMSing. Y'all know how that go. Hormonal acne. But anyway, 
Um, so yeah, I'm about to head to the orthodontist now to get my braces tightened, to get my color changed. It is October 3rd. So in the holiday spirit um, of Halloween, of Thanksgiving coming up, because I'll, these will probably be in through November, I'm gonna get orange. And yeah, and then when I go back the next time, I already said I was gonna get, get like a brighter red. So as you can see, these are my teeth. My teeth, like, I already kind of had straight teeth um, before. So there's not really like a visible change in like my full review. But like my crossbite that I told y'all that I had is almost non existent anymore. Like my teeth are like almost completely straight on this side of my mouth. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I think today when I get my braces tightened again, um, like by the time i go back in six more weeks completely gone like and my teeth will probably be have like the alignment all the way there um after these next six weeks and then they'll probably start me on like power chains and my rubber bands so this is what we have now i don't know why i made that noise but yeah this time it's completely straight and then Still got spaces and like new spaces like right here and right here um from the alignment of it all but yeah let me have this orthodontist because i'm about to be late <laughs> and i will pick y'all back up i probably won't show y'all what it looks like to get my braces tightened again because y'all have seen that at this point already um especially in this vlog so i'll just show y'all what it looks like afterwards and if they have any updates i'll let y'all know but it's gonna be the same old same old so i think that part of it is kind of over but like if i go get my power chains i know i'm getting those i of course i'll take y'all but i'm just gonna get a new wire and a color change so that's what we're doing today all right <laughs> hey y'all so i'm out with a new color so that i was getting orange um it's a little brighter than what i expected but it's cool it's whatever um so basically what he told me was that he was like this will probably be my last time which i think i said already I, in my mind i knew it already but he was like this is probably gonna be my last time of doing the wires that help with my alignment he was like by the time i come in in six weeks like i should be done with the alignment phase with my wires and he was like and then we're gonna start with wires that help with spacing I had no idea there were different wires that help with alignment and spacing. And I asked him and I was like, oh, so is that the power chains? And he was like, no, no power chains yet. He was like, they're coming, but not yet. And I was like, oh, so it's just a different wire. And he was like, yeah. So I had no idea that there were different actual wires that helped with alignment and with, that helped with spacing. I just thought all the wires were basically the same. So next time I'll be having, y'all could probably hear the clicking of my, let me turn it off because I'm about to turn, but hold on, I really am about to turn. One second. <laughs> okay. Had to stop by good old faithful Starbucks, but what was I saying? Oh, so yeah. Um, next time he's going to change my wires to working with um, something that helps with my spacing. So then we'll go there and that was basically what he said. He was saying how like, like I said, like my crossbite is shifting. He was like, oh yeah, like, cause about the next time you come in here, it'll be completely in alignment with all of your other teeth. Um, so that's a good thing. And I know they're working on some of the alignment like down here, um, like it's on these teeth, but yeah, moving right along. And it's so funny because people with gaps have so many different experiences when it comes to like fixing and correcting them so this is such an interesting journey because a lot of people don't correct their gaps until they're an adult and so watching different people have different experiences with it super interesting it's so interesting and i'll talk more about it um, i'll actually sit down and do something like that but it's so interesting Y'all, I'm driving. Let me, let me come back. 
so it's been a week since i've had this wire on but i just kind of wanted to update y'all on like where i am what new differences between getting them on the first time and where i am now because baby it's been some differences <laughs> when i first got them on y'all my I, I i almost regretted getting braces and i probably said it in my last video but like i was like what did i get myself into like it was ridiculous my teeth just felt like i didn't think i was gonna be able to eat anymore i didn't think i was gonna be able to just function in what i knew was best for me but y'all how many months later i first got them on in june my top row got my bottom row on in july so june july august September, October. it's been four months four months months huh? four months <laughs> since i've had braces and it's a lot better now like so much better and sorry if i like look up and look down my viewfinder is up but then like the camera is here so i want to make sure i'm looking at y'all and not looking at me okay okay all right but um so yeah so like some of the biggest updates now is i can eat now like i can really i can eat okay um <laughs> Jesus, I did not think I was gonna be able to eat again. But um I they tell you not to eat chips. <sighs> I'll be eating some chips. <laughs> um but not a whole lot, but like I try to like be careful with them. I have not broken a bracket since I broke it like the first week after I got my braces. I haven't broken a bracket ever since. Knock on wood. Um so I've been good in that department. Um, I've been able to eat like tougher meats and stuff now, which I was having the hardest time doing before. Um, and still it's a little difficult because I do have my um, my gap still in my mouth. So like sometimes things hit that wire like in between here and it can be a hot mess. But I mean, it's all right. Um, so like a lot of the things that I thought I wouldn't be able to eat, I'm eating. Like granted, I still don't chew gum and I still haven't tried eating popcorn just because like, I just don't want them to just get up in my teeth. I'm not as worried about breaking a bracket as I am just like having food all up in my braces. Like I am too grown to be walking around with food all up in my braces. Like that's one of the things that even as an adult going on this braces journey and i don't know if kids struggle with this but like i am too old to be walking around with food in my teeth not doing that like not doing that at all so i try to be cognizant of that type of stuff it's like okay well what can i eat that just doesn't get all up in my teeth and make it look like a hot mess up in there like i can't carry my water pick everywhere i cannot like i'm just I, I just be I just have to be more aware of like what I eat um so like on the food front like things are things are so much better now um y'all may have seen in um one of the clips that I uploaded and I don't know how I'm editing this right now but like I kind of know I have some stuff from that appointment and then I have some stuff from like my most recent appointment last week but my most recent appointment last week like i am now on my well what he told me was like my last like wire for like alignment um and then i'll go into a wire for a straight for like spacing um and i had no idea those were different like no idea at all so i'll see what that looks like next appointment and i will definitely update y'all on that but like my next appointment will be um a wire for spacing so they're gonna start on my gaps but as far as like what's changed so far so i told y'all previously like i had a crossbite and um spacing and my actual like bite were my, my biggest issues like my crossbite over here is like almost gone like it's almost gone and i could not be happier like because one of those things like 
my crossbite in the past it used to give me so much trouble like when I ate because food would just get stuck up in between my teeth back there because like of just how I would chew on that side and I try to I would try to be like aware of like okay well let me chew on this side because things didn't really get stuck up in my teeth over on this side but over here they would and so even now with braces on I'm learning that food doesn't get as stuck up in my teeth over there anymore and that is just like a relief but I will tell you that along the journey um over the past over the past like few weeks or whatever like as it's been moving and I didn't really see a lot of movement in it um prior to like my August appointment so like when I went and got my wire in August that's when I saw a lot of the movement in September for my crossbite so um so like it would it would have me like I would have an open bite so like you can kind of I don't know if you can, but you can kind of see it a little bit. It's 10 times better now. But like as the tooth was moving, it was like sitting inside my bottom tooth and it was like moving and it would hurt a little bit, but it really messed with like my bite in general. Like I just felt like I couldn't, I couldn't do this. And even now doing that, I can still feel that tooth because it isn't all the way out just yet but like a couple weeks i know it will be like in full alignment with the rest of my teeth what else do i need to update y'all on i did not look back at those videos to see what i said i was gonna update y'all on so like this is just coming straight out the dome <laughs> and i hope i'm not rambling but those are like the biggest updates and stuff um so if y'all have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I've had questions on like my previous video and I try to answer them right away. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any tips on getting more information out of my orthodontist appointments, like let me know. Um, and I will definitely take heed to that and continue to take y'all with me throughout this journey. And I like documenting because it allows me to see where I am and like I can probably look back at my older video and I'm like oh okay like that I see that change a little bit um and even with my smile I feel like I am talking a little straighter a little straighter than I used to I feel like like my old smile like I used to talk to the side a little bit like like that but now I feel like I talk a lot more direct um and I appreciate that a lot so um yeah thank y'all for watching um uh, again if y'all have any questions or if y'all want to see specific videos on what i've been doing to upkeep with my braces my nighttime routine the best toothbrushes or whatever because i have had a time with finding the right toothbrush to brush my braces okay <laughs> So if y'all got questions or want to see more about that, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.